Hello and welcome to our new tutorial. We're launching our new product, it's called Face 3D. And so in this video, we will get to know the product and we'll also create some truly amazing 3D models out of images. Now let's open Face 3D right away. Go to Window, Extensions, Face 3D. You can dock it to After Effects and conveniently keep it there for further use. No need to open it every time. So the first thing I want to show you is that Face 3D creates a temporary folder on your desktop where it stores all the models and textures you've created. Now, of course, you can edit the path and save your work wherever you want. Now, this temporary folder works for me, so I'll leave everything as it is. Let's get started. Here I have a few images, and we'll import this image of a very lovely girl, and we'll open Map Manager in the main window. So in the Map Manager, we've added a few AI depth generators from Hugging Face Platform, and also AI depth matte plugins from ascripts.com. Depth Scanner, Depth Scanner Lite, and Quick Depth 2. If you have one of these plugins on your computer, you can choose it. So I'll choose Depth Anything 2. Just gonna wait for it and drag our photo here and click on Compute Depth. After generating depth map, I will simply click Download Map. All right, as you can see, Face 3D has created a comp. There's depth map that we've just created. Then I'll select depth map and switch to effect control window. Here you can see several effects that are already applied to the map. We'll look at each of these effects separately later. For now, let's just quickly set up depth map and create a 3D model. I'll increase blurriness. Also depth map control. Like this. Select image and depth map, type the name and click make 3D. And that's it. There we have our 3D model. I'll orbit around it with camera tool so you can see it better. Well, that's a bit flat, isn't it? No worries. We can fix that fairly easily. Simply select the model, uncheck scale on all axes and scale along Z. And you can see that now it looks both perfect and physically correct. So we just need to animate our camera now. I'll open camera position and point of interest to add some keys. Then go to the third second. Should be enough for this scene. Reduce duration of the comp. Now I want the camera to come down from above, but at the same time I want to keep the girl's head in frame. Then go to the last frame. Cool, let's pre-render. Looks great, but let's also add some rotation. Excellent, isn't it? Our model is physically correct. No matter what angle I choose, it still looks very beautiful. Looks good no matter what angle I pick. Here's another render from a different angle. Perfect. Okay, let's animate another image. Let's pick this little girl with a rabbit this time. I'll quickly generate depth map. Add it to the scene. There we go. Now, 
It's crucial to adjust the depth map to make the model look as real as possible. Increase black and white difference to highlight facial features with curve. Also, let's bring the background closer with depth map control. And also add some blur to it. Great. I'll select image and map. Give it a name. And make 3D. Let's scale our model along Z. There she is. Now let's add some keys to animate the camera. I'll add keys on both position and point of interest. Then go to the third second, reduce duration, and create some movement. Let's take a look now. Looks great. Very simple and very fast. All right, took care of this one. Now let's create another one. Let's get the depth map real quick. Download it. I think that's awesome. Let's just blur it a little bit. Let's call it something. And create 3D. Scale along Z a little bit. I will use camera target here to get a nicer rotation effect. Click R, add key on Y, reduce duration. Her nose is too long. Well, no worries. We'll fix that in a jiffy. We'll just reduce scale a little bit. All right, now I'll go to the last second and turn in the opposite direction. Great. Let's also use camera to hide edges of our model. Like this. And do the same on the last frame. All right, let's take a look. Perfect. Great tool, isn't it? It really is a pleasure to work with it. It's very easy to use and you can achieve excellent results very quickly. Nothing complicated. It takes about three to four minutes to create a model, especially if you make many objects in short distances, this tool is crazy cool. All right, 
Enough for this tutorial, hopefully you won't have any trouble using Face 3D. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Enjoy!